So, uh, good evening everybody. So, once again, we are very happy uh, to bring one more of our top delegate to this live show. VSE always uh, connects the top class European public universities with the students and parents. So, this is one more initiative of bringing university in a live YouTube show where we can also ask them questions and you can also ask us the questions in the WhatsApp number below. Yes. So, I would like to welcome our uh, delegate. And uh, he's one of the top professors from Technical University of Ostrava. So I would I would welcome you for the show. I would request you to introduce yourself so that audience will know like the, who, to whom they are talking to. Okay. Thank you, sir, for the possibility to be Ostrava. here. Uh, my name is Daniel Poruba, uh, and I am the Vice Dean of the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering at the Technical University of uh, Ostrava uh, in Czech Republic. Nice to meet you all. Wonderful, wonderful. So, we use these digital platforms to connect with students and parents. Even if you see like, a lot of school children also see all these uh, uh, programs and get motivated to study in Europe. Especially Czech Republic is becoming a, a very favorite destination for students. So, uh, can you tell us about uh, Czech Republic as a study destination? Okay, so as you probably know, the Czech Republic is located in the central Europe and it's surrounded by four other countries. It's Poland, Germany, Austria, and Slovakia. Uh, the Czech Republic has approximately 11,000 inhabitants, and Technical University of Ostrava is located in the northern eastern part of uh, Czech Republic, in the region which is called Moravian Silesian region. Uh, Ostrava has approximately 300,000 uh, inhabitants and there are three universities located. One of them is Technical University of Ostrava where we are or I am coming from. Wonderful. So even you know we send hundreds of students to Czech Republic especially to Technical University of Ostrava and our students have always been very very uh, happy. So uh, about Technical University of Ostrava what sort of what, are, what sort of faculties you have so can you explain about that about Technical University of Ostrava. Yes, definitely. So, Technical University of Ostrava is consisting of seven faculties. Uh, I will name some of them. Uh, Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, Faculty of Electrical Engineering, Faculty of Material Science, Faculty of Geology, Faculty of Safety Engineering, Faculty of Civil Engineering, and the last one is Faculty of Economics. Wonderful. So, I named all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yes. Uh, maybe I can even add that the whole university has 11,000 students, Wonderful. approximately. Wonderful. And uh, I know the exact numbers for the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, and we have approximately 2,000 students and 300 foreign uh, students in common study programs. That's quite a lot. So, we have been sending students for the past 5-6 uh, years to Technical University of Ostrava. So, you would have encountered with a lot of Indian students. Yes. So, what is your opinion about our Indian students studying in your university? Yes, actually I am the teacher of uh, many Indian colleagues uh, in our study programs. And uh, actually I have to say we have very nice relationship uh, which is built already for uh, certain years. Uh, I have friends between the graduates and also between students and I have one very nice story. A uh, couple of weeks ago I met one Indian student and I didn't know him at all and he told me, hello sir, I know you from the television, I know you from Chennai. So because I visited so, yeah. Chennai two years ago uh, and so I meet one uh, student who made the decision to study at our university. So. It was very nice meeting and uh, please really think about that to come to our place. Wonderful, wonderful. So, uh, can you uh, explain, because we always say uh, the studies are completely practical yeah. in European countries as well as the industries work very closely with the universities. So, your comments about, about these two statements. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is really what I think we are good at, not uh, only Technical University of Ostrava, but in general all the universities in our country. Uh, but the, I think Ostrava is special in that, in that uh, area, because the Moravian Silesian region is 
the most industrialized region in uh, our republic, in the Czech Republic. And we have also so-called industrial board, which is the advisory organ of the Dean of Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. And that, me that means that the cooperation uh, with the industrial companies is very strong. And we can prove it uh, by the fact that at the end, each student must to write diploma thesis, yes. master thesis. And 90% of these master theses are assigned uh, from the companies. Wonderful. Directly or indirectly, but they originate from, from the real company and they will serve to the real purpose. So yes, it's, yes. it's not only some theoretical work, but it's really based on a real, real uh, engineering life. So this is what uh, we want our students to have real connections with the industries and study in a practical way. Yep. That's why our students, they travel all this distance and, you know, come yes. to Czech Republic or other European countries and study. Yeah. Yes. Maybe I can even interrupt you, sorry for that, sure, but sure, sure. Uh, I would even uh, 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 like to add that it's not only about the final, final thesis, mm -hmm. but uh, also our departments are equipped with the laboratories. Yep. So, uh, again, it's not only about books. Of course, books are important, but uh, the students have the real chance to go to the laboratories yes. to touch to touch the steel, actually, we say, because of we are mechanical engineering. So they can go to the laboratory of mechanical pro uh, properties testing, laboratory of uh, hydraulics, let's yes, say, yes. Uh, then we have very nice laboratory which is called Protolab, mm -hmm. this is the laboratory uh, for the 3D printing of metals Wonderful. and plastics. Uh, it's the biggest laboratory uh, concerning the 3D print in Czech Republic, so the students have the real access there. Then maybe the project Formula Student, mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, when the students build a new formula car each year from the design over the simulations until the practical realization of this car. Then co they compete with this car and all these, all these activities make them much more easier the graduates to find a job. And it's not only about uh, the Czech students, but now we have the information that lots of our foreign graduates found the job not only in Czech Republic, but also in Western Europe, like Germany, France, yes. and so on. Yes, wonderful. That's what we tell students. So work hard, stay focused, really develop your skills, you know, Definitely. then everything else follows automatically. Yes. For the audience, we would like to, uh, we would like to open the website okay. of Technical University of Australia, uh, where we show the list of master programs available, so it will be really helpful for the students. So I'll just change the screen. So, in a second, yeah. So, yeah, this is the website. So I would request professor to explain, you know, the faculties, different programs. This will be really helpful. Yes, definitely. So, as I told, we have some faculties at the Technical University of, uh, of Ostrava. Uh, I will start with the first and eldest, oldest one, which is Faculty of Mining and Geology. Yes. Uh, there, there are five uh, general study programs in master, in one for masters. Applied Geology, Brownfield Technical Redevelopment, Mining Mineral Resources, Petroleum Engineering, and Waste Management and Mineral uh, Processing. So this is the eldest. The second eldest faculty, faculty. Is, fa faculty yeah. Yeah, is the Faculty of Material Science and Technology. Advanced, and uh, they offer the study programs with the following names. Uh, advanced in, uh, Engineering Materials, metallurgical engineering, nanotechnology, and quality management and control of industrial systems. Uh, third, uh, Ellis faculty is the faculty of mechanical engineering. Yes. So this is my faculty. Yeah, we, that's why you can see a lot of programs. Yes, we <laughs> offer lots of lots of programs. I think they cover the whole area of engineering activities in the mechanical area. So I start with the applied mechanics, control of machines and processes, energy engineering, industrial engineering, mechanical engineering technology, mechatronics, 
and robotics. Uh, we can go further to newer faculties, uh, uh, the Faculty of Economics, which is also the part of the Technical University of Ostrava, uh, offers the study programs named Applied Economics, Finance uh, and Mar Marketing and Business. Uh, last but not least is the Faculty of Ele Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, uh, with the following study programs: yes. applied electronics. Then you see a lot of. Uh, yeah, they also lot offer of lots of power options. engineering, control information systems. Wonderful. Yes. And finally, the civil engineering. Civil engineering. And then safety. Yes. Yes. It's Architecture it's and construction study program, civil engineering, uh, DIM engineering, and so on. Wonderful. So it's it's really nice to see you know uh, so much study options for the students. We always say, uh, the bigger the university, the more the master bachelor program. Yeah. So as you can see, we have run through at least 50, 60 master programs. Yes, 55 master's yes, 55 programs. 55 master yes. programs, completely taught in English. That's the best part. Yes. So because they need not know any other languages because they're going to study only in English. We always say, if at all, you know, uh, the study language should always be English. Yep. That is where they can easily study. Yes, study definitely. Instead of studying in any definitely. other languages. Wonderful. So we would also like to tell students to ask us questions. We'll be more than happy to answer them. In the WhatsApp number below, 9884948822. We have already started getting students, uh, sorry, questions, Professor. So the first question is for your department. How good is Czech for mechanical industries? Uh, how good? Yes, yes. Czech you Republic. mean like Czech Republic. Complete Czech, how mm -hmm. close it is with all these mechanical yes. industries. Yes, actually, uh, I think the Czech Republic is most technically developed region in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, the majority of, of industry is focused on technical science. It's like mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. So the background for studying engineering is very strong. And also the possibility to find a job, for example, after graduate from the master, master or even bachelor study programs is very high. Maybe the rate of unemployment in Czech Republic is the lowest in the European Union, yes. two and a half percent. So That's why we send a lot of students to Czech Republic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they have really the opportunity to become the employee of some uh, international companies because lots of students also ask, can I survive in the company without the knowledge of Czech language? Of course they can because we have the international companies yes. and uh, the Communication is usually held in English. English, in exactly. Company. This so, is what we tell yeah. people. Yeah. So, uh, the next question was, is the language necessary to get jobs, which Professor has just answered. If you are technically, this question is by Mr. Ramesh. If you are technically strong, that is absolutely, you know, nothing much to worry about. Yeah, yeah. actually. Yes. And also, we also are cont contacted uh, by the companies that uh, your students, the student is applying for the job uh, in our company. Was he or she uh, a good student? So really, uh, it is important to have good study results yes. during the study, uh, because then uh, the possibilities are much more wider yes. than, than without that, That's that why, condition. You know, as we discussed in the uh, seminar yesterday, Europe Study Center is the only company which discourages students to do part-time jobs. We encourage students to sit and study, mm -hmm. focus, develop the skills, and get a full-time job. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, That's the whole better because, choice. Yeah. Yes, it's a public university. A lot of funds comes from the government and the industries. So the students should not, you know, uh, misuse this rather yeah. than use this perfectly for their upliftment yeah, because, of their life, career, yeah, everything. Yeah, yes. because it's not so long time. These two years, yes. they are Just very two fast. Years, it just goes like this. And yeah. then you have the whole life in front of you. Yes. So. Uh, the next question is, uh, they're asking about how long they can stay back after their studies in Czech Republic. Okay. This question is by Balu. Okay, thank you for that question. Uh, we have the information that after you successfully finish the study, uh, you can apply for so-called bridging visa, uh, which uh, gives you the opportunity uh, for six months to search for the job. Wonderful. Uh, if you find the job, then the company confirms 
that uh, you are important for the for the company and uh, you will obtain the normally the normal working visa yes. so you should do it you should finish it this searching process within six months six. after graduation yes wonderful and then um, what are the famous automobile automotive companies from Czech Republic yeah you the co companies automotive related companies in Czech Republic. yeah you mean Skoda Skoda yeah, yeah Skoda. he wants to know the names, names. okay okay the Skoda car is probably the most important for uh, for Czech Republic's economics, but also for the common people, because this company existed already for many, many, many uh, tens of years. Yes, yes, yes. So it's not only about the economics, but it's also about the national proudness, let's say. So Skoda Auto is definitely the most important company. But then th 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 uh, this company is located in the northern part of Czech Republic, far quite distant from Ostrava, but very close to Ostrava is the company, the production company uh, of the Hyundai cars. Hyundai is the correct pronunciation. Yes, yes, yes. yes, the Hyundai car, uh, and also close to Prague, uh, the Toyota Citroen and Peugeot has uh, the production company uh, there. So, uh, all, really, the Czech Republic is very important from the automotive point of view Wonderful. and also in the neighboring country Slovakia there is again the Kia company yeah, yeah. so all the important or majority of important companies are located in these countries okay Sai is asking a question will university guide us for internship opportunities in talking about the final year project Yes, yes, this is uh, what I was talking, or we yes. were talking a little bit ago. Uh, the best choice is to make the decision to do the diploma work in the company or for the company. Perfect, yeah, perfect. It's, it's guided uh, by someone from the university yes. and the student has the contact or can have, if he or she would like to have, can have the contact with the, uh, with the company. Uh, the student can go to the company, cooperate with the people, uh, he or she definitely has also co-supervisor in the company, so uh, they can be really in the touch with the company. And this is the best way how to prove the employer that you are good and uh, you prove uh, that you will be willing by this company after, after you graduate. So this is the best way of internship definitely to do the diploma diploma work in the company. Yeah, this is what we say. Do well in the three semesters, get a lot of skills. Yes. Do your final year project in a company. Exactly. Which opens up loads of opportunities. Yes. It's very simple. Yes, yeah, uh, three you know. semesters, you have to survive three yes. semesters and then uh, you can start working. There are a question from um, uh, Ramesh that, uh, can we go on Erasmus studies to other countries? Yes, definitely, the Erasmus program is opened not only for the citizens of European Union, but every student of the European University can participate in it. We have already several Indian students who are at this kind of, of uh, program studies, and yeah. stay. Uh, you can choose almost any country in Europe because we have lots of contracts yes. with the foreign universities. Uh, you will be also equipped uh, by the Erasmus scholarship, so you can cover in this way uh, the monthly expenses abroad. Uh, you will have the accommodation abroad, of course. You will remain the student of Technical University of Ostrava. And the procedure of this Erasmus stay is so that you will choose at the foreign university subjects which are similar to the subjects included in your study program at Technical University of Ostrava. And if you successfully pass these subjects abroad, then after your arrival back to Technical University of Ostrava, these subjects are accepted by us. Yes. And uh, actually you do not usually need to repeat the year, which is quite important. Yes. Uh, and this is actually the principle of yes. exchange yes. stakes. The next question is by Chandini. Do you provide accommodation? Yes. For students? Yes. yes. And, uh, 
Technical University of Ostrava has the largest campus in Czech Republic, and the part of this campus is also uh, the dormitory. Or it's the dormitory. Uh, the dormitory has enough places actually for everyone, uh, and you can apply for the accommodation. Uh, it's also the con to, to be applied for accommodation is also the condition for obtaining the visa. So you can apply for the accommodation and you can get the single or double room in our reconstructed dormitory. So the price of the accommodation there is approximately 150 euro mm -hmm. a month for the double room. For the single room it's a little bit higher, it's like 160 and maybe 70 euros. It changed a little bit, but it's approximately that, that amount and you can spend there the whole time of your study. Wonderful. Thank you so much for all these questions by students. Uh, when an Indian student is planning to study in Czech Republic, they get ready to do all these things, yes. work hard, study well, complete the degree in time, What's, how he should be prepared, what he should do? Yes, there are certain, let's say, administrative con uh, conditions which are to send the application for? No, I mean talking about uh, after admissions. After admissions. Uh, for example, as I told you, don't do part-time, focus on your studies, yes. work hard, yes, those yes. sort of aspects. Yeah. Actually, you said it all. Yeah. <laughs> From my po point of view, is uh, the most important is to really use your time uh, when you are at the university, go to the lectures, go to the practical trainings, try to uh, communicate with the companies, go to the companies, apply for the uh, for the diploma topic given by the company. Uh, don't be afraid to go to the company and really use the time when you are in the contact with the teacher to obtain as much knowledge as possible. And then I hope you will be successful in not only in graduation, but also in finding the job if it is your aim. Uh, for instance, in the whole Europe. Wonderful. So the message is very clear. So welcome to Czech Republic. Come and study, develop your skills, and just keep moving forward. That's what the okay. professor says. So any more questions? Yes, one more. Uh, would like to know the eligibility criteria for students to get an admission into your university. Is there an entrance test for getting offer? Mm -hmm. The question is by Sudha. Okay, okay. So it's uh, different at each faculty. So mm -hmm. I can confirm uh, the conditions of for, for the example, mechanical, mechanical engineering just for faculty. Example, yeah. So we do not have entrance examination. Uh, we just uh, make the list of students according to their results of previous study. And uh, based on the capacity of the study programs, uh, so we have the list of students we make the line and the uh, first uh, group which is uh, within the capacity is directly accepted. Accepted. Yes, also you can contact Europe Study Center where they are now sole admission partners in India. We will be more than happy to guide you with the applications and uh, May 31st is the last day to uh, Yeah, apply. May 31st. And as you all know, European universities deadlines are deadlines. Okay. So there is no extension or anything. So. If at all any student is interested, do contact us. We will be more than happy to guide you. And you will have all the contact numbers, details in the in this video's description or else you can contact us in the same WhatsApp number. Um, last question. Uh, it's from Vikas. Uh, he is asking, does the university conduct any job fairs? Yes. Actually, every year uh, at the Technical University of Ostrava, there is a big uh, fair which is called Career Plus. Career Plus. Okay. Career Plus. And the representatives of companies from the region and from the whole Czech Republic are coming there and present the possibilities for a student to get the job there. So it's not only about local companies, but really also about the international company where the communication English, uh, the communication language is English. So uh, you can definitely visit this kind of fair, which takes place every year in the spring. Wonderful. And uh, they, there are more than 100 representatives of uh, companies, and it is visited by 
more than 5,000 students. And wow, this is 5,000 students. 5,000 students, yes. It is a really good base <laughs> for starting the communication with the company. Wonderful, wonderful. So I think we have answered all the questions. Uh, is, yeah, okay. Um, he was just asking about the supercomputing center in Pico. Okay. Can you mm -hmm. say some words about it? Even though you're from mechanical faculty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some words about that. Actually, I can say a couple of words about yes. it because uh, because it's definitely the part of Technical University of Ostrava. Exactly. It's uh, officially calls, called mm -hmm. National Supercomputer Center. Mm -hmm. And the supercomputer located there is the fourth fastest supercomputer in Europe. And fourth fastest. Fourth fastest. Wow. Yes. Okay. So it's already the third generation of the, this computer. And well, this is an important information even for the computer science electronic students. Yes. They should not think okay, TU only mechanical, no? Yeah, yeah, we yeah, welcome yeah. all the parts. Definitely. Professor is from mechanical, so he's explaining about that also. Yeah, but yeah, definitely there is the connection of the mechanical engineering faculty with this supercomputer because yes. there are some engineering issues which cannot be solved on the local computer standing on the table. We need supercomputers. Yeah, so we need supercomputer and also the students have the possibility to ask for the computational time, for example, and they can solve their projects uh, at this supercomputer. So it's something I think what at uh, different universities is uh, only hardly hardly possible. Yes. So John has asked a question. Requirements to apply for a master program. We just now explained, as Professor said, you can send in your applications and they can contact us. We will apply. And uh, uh, basically they, they have a threshold with the minimum entry requirements. And once you cross that, everyone gets admitted. So the exactly. deadline is May 31st. And then that's it. So we have answered all the other questions. So wonderful. It was great. Uh, you could see a lot of questions even on a uh, Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, you know, sorry, on a Monday uh, evening. Good to see so much questions. And thank you so much to everybody who took part in this. I'm sure it will all be helpful for you and uh, to take this option and uh, choose Czech Republic Technical University of Ostrava as a study destination. Any last words, Professor, for our students and parents? Yeah, thank you for the watching and also thank you to the Europe Study Center for the invitation. Thank you. We're really, always honored. We had very nice time in here and we are more than happy that we will be, be able to welcome you at our university. Goodbye well, to everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor. Thank you so much to everybody. Done. <laughs>